A modern education, they cannot understand that uh, this repetition of birth, death, old age, and disease is a botheration. They do not understand it. Why they accept it? Accept it, they think there is no other way. But if there is a way to stop this, why do they not take it? What is the value of this education? They cannot distinguish between right and wrong. Nobody likes death, but the death is there. Nobody likes to become old, but the old age is there. Why they set aside these big problems and is proud of scientific advancement? What kind of education? If they cannot distinguish between right and wrong, then what is the result of this education? Education means one must be able to distinguish between the right and wrong. And they cannot, and even they do know that death is not good. But why they are not trying? How to stop them? Where is the advancement? They are very much proud of advancement of science. Where is the advancement? You cannot stop them. You cannot stop old age. You can manufacture advanced medicine. But why don't you stop the uh, disease? You take this pill, there will be no more disease. Where is that science? They say they're, they're working on it. Uh, that is another question. Love him. Just like we say that Krishna consciousness is a gradual process, they say their scientific advancement is also a gradual process. Gradual process, but do they think that they'll be able to stop that? We are confident that we are going back to home, back to God and Krishna. But where is their confidence that they will be able to stop death, old age, disease? Hmm. The newest fad is now that they uh, say that they are trying to establish the fact that there is life after death. That is? They try to do this scientifically again. No, they do. Scientifically, there is life after death. Death, that we repeatedly say that my child's body is death, it's gone, vanished. I've got a defined body. After death, there is life. This is practical. So, this is Krishna says, Tatha Dehantara Prati. So, similarly, Nahannati uh, Hannavani Sarire. This is authoritative statement of God. And practically we see that we get one body after another, but I continue. So, where is the objection? So there is life after death, so called death means annihilation of the body. So if we can stick to that life, that there is no more death, that, that is to be sought after, that is intelligence. And that is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. That if you simply understand Krishna and you become fit to go back to Him, 
then no more death. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. 